Hey everybody, I'm Tim here with the Osgener Family Cigars Bosphorus. And you're watching Cigars Daily. Well, the prodigal son has returned to the cigar industry at least, and that's Tim Osgener, a guy whose name you might not recognize unless I mention to you his father, Yano A. Osgener, whose initials are CAO. The dude started a legendary cigar brand that's been around now for decades and made some of the biggest fan favorite award-winning cigars that have been made. And now his boy Tim has come along to take the throne with Osgener Family Cigars, so he's putting out some new blends and it's exciting to see. Something interesting about the Osgener family is unlike a lot of the cigar making families, his heritage doesn't date back to pre-embargo Cuba where he ran from Castro, Tim Osgener's heritage goes straight back to the country of Turkey, but he's still able to blend a damn fine cigar. This thing has already hit the market with some pretty rave reviews, and today I want to dig into this to see what a second generation cigar maker is going to be pumping out on a brand new band and a brand new brand. And this thing right here has got a pretty compelling blend to start with. The wrap relief on this is Ecuador Sumatra. And I like Sumatra. It's a super versatile leaf. You can do a lot with it. Blend it bold, blend it mild, and everywhere in between. This one is billed to be a pretty medium strength cigar, but under that, an Ecuador Connecticut binder, along with another undisclosed binder from Nicaragua. And this whole idea of using more than one binder leaf underneath the wrapper, that's not uncommon in the cigar world. It's a thing you'll find from time to time. Not everybody advertises it a lot, but it's a nice piece of cigar minutia that will let you know there's this extra piece of construction there that's adding to the stability of the cigar, but also the fact that I think this is really, really tightly box pressed. Doesn't mean it has a tight draw. will also play into the construction of the thing. On the inside, and this is where I get most fascinated, Fillers from three regions of Nicaragua, Esteli, Jalapa, and Ometepe. I've said this a lot of times on the channel, but you gotta pay attention when there's Ometepe tobacco in there. This is leaf that's only grown on an island in the middle of a lake in Nicaragua, and the island is made out of two volcanoes. So if you want that nutrient-rich volcanic soil, that is like the place to get it. And it's one type of filler, or leaf at least, that you won't find in a ton of cigars. And when you do find it, it's typically filler. So I wanna see what this thing has to offer. We've got a nice, fascinating sounding blend from a second generation cigar maker who's come into a world of premium cigars that's really, really difficult to be in because there's so much compelling stuff out there. So many deep, dynamic flavors going on. I wonder if Tim Osgener has the stuff to blend for the masses. And the only way to find out is with a cut and a light. All right, the kickoff on this thing, holy cow, comes with a little bit of grit. It certainly is medium strength. And the flavor profile is pretty wide open on this. Not a ton of complexity when it kicks off up front. Very, very earthy flavor though. And when I say grit, I mean it sort of grabs you in the back of the throat without being spicy, without a lot of black pepper or anything like that. It's not characteristically super smooth. Like if you're looking for smooth and creamy out the gate, this cigar is not delivering that up front, although there's a long way to go and certainly plenty of room for transition. But aside from a little bit of earth and a little bit of cedar up front, this thing's got a lot of space to grow. Let's take it into the first third and see what it gives us. I catch myself in the first third as this flavor develops, taking long, deep draws on this to draw that grittiness in. I love this because while this is a medium strength cigar, that grit lets me know, grips the back of the throat, lets me know I'm really smoking it. And for me, does not represent any kind of imperfection in this flavor. It really is a quite savory flavor where this profile's filled out a little bit more. 
earthiness remains, a little bit of cedar still in this, some nice fruitiness, and just a light sweetness comes into this flavor. All that together is really nice, but now that flavor is again savory, my mouth is watering even just talking about it. And like this, it's kind of a preference thing for me. That grit to the flavor, the savory profile here, all those things are the type of things I really enjoy in a cigar. But if you're just looking for that smooth flavor profile, at this point, it's not delivering just that, but a nice quality and balanced profile that keeps me coming back and drawing again and again, especially to get that sort of back of the throat grabs hold of my palate and reminds me, hey, you're smoking something that's a little more serious. And I've had some burn issues, so I talked about the box press on this a little bit. This is one seriously box press cigar, and to the degree that, like, you get sometimes sort of a soft box press. Sometimes you get a little harder box press. This one's pressed to the point of being basically rectangular, and so it, you know, longer on the top, shorter on the sides. And that seems maybe to be an issue for burn. I have smoked through an entire box of these to this point and have had some touch-up issues. I've touched a few of these up. This one right here is not required a full touch-up to this point. It's just kind of been a wavy, you know, burn as I've gone through the first third. So I'm going to leave it, let it ride, and see what, what it gives me. I want to take it into the second third, though, so I can take a look at the wrapper on this with you and, of course, see where this takes us. As I sit here listening to the sound of tape tearing and new boxes being made, I continue to sink my teeth in this incredibly meaty flavor. So as I describe the flavor, it doesn't sound like there's a lot of complexity to it. And truly, the flavor's tried and true, really nice and savory, but pretty simple. Earthiness, cedar, that little bit of fruitiness that's still hanging around in the second third, really mild sweetness, but that grit, that grip in my throat is just outstanding. This is the flavor note that you hear people talking about when they talk about, I think, umami. It's just this sort of meatiness to the flavor. And this thing has got that in spades. It might be the best example of that that I've seen in a cigar in recent memory. All around, though, in the second third, I've had a few puffs where it sort of started to get a little creamy on the retrohale, but it's never really lost that core of meatiness to the flavor. And the burn continues to be an issue. I have had to touch it up a couple times, and maybe that's from the boxed pressness of it, but certainly every time I touch it up, flavor comes rushing back and I just get more of what I love. It's part of the reason that I go through like a can of gas every week, just keeping my cigars typically perfectly burning, especially when I'm not doing a review. Now take a look at the wrapper on this with me. The Ecuador Sumatra leaf on these things is like a medium brown, very, very thin veins on these wrapper leaves. The thing has got some splotchiness from cigar to cigar in the box, like you'll see that from time to time, but doesn't seem to suffer in quality for that. And the thing you'll notice, I think, about Oscan or Family Cigars is a different breed of presentation. Still very, very colorful, but if you look at the inside of the box lid, if you look at the band on the cigar, you see a much more Turkish influence to what's going on with branding and packaging and really the overall look and feel of the cigar, which does help to set it apart from other stuff in the humidor and I think is a great asset to this brand. It's not just another Nicaraguan brand and not that there's anything wrong with that, but certainly standing apart is one thing that's getting harder and harder to do in an industry where we all roll up leaves and enjoy them together. Now I want to take this thing all the way into the final third. It continues to hold a really nice solid ash all the way through. It's not falling in my lap or anything like that, but I want to see what we can hold on to. I really love this meatiness to the flavor, so let's take it into the final third and see where this takes us and what kind of score it gets. Well, there goes that ash I was bragging about earlier. And here in the final third at the nubby nub of this thing, what I've got is pretty typical, but still something I'm really enjoying. So flavors kind of dull out here in the final third. Strength raises up. And that strength comes with a little sharpness, not all the way to bitterness. And even now, and on the cigar through and through, the finish has been very clean, which to me is not something I normally associate with a cigar with real grit. Like that typically comes with a little bit of dirt on that finish, and this cigar doesn't leave much left behind. Although I'll say my whole palate feels a sort of sense of, I don't want to call it tired out or worn out, but just a lot to taste throughout this cigar with that savory umami type flavor. Even though the flavor profile wasn't wildly dynamic, super complex or anything like that. Still very good, nice, well-filled out medium strength profile, 
My final smoking time on this has been an hour and 24 minutes and my score came out to an 84. For a lower rating for me, I gotta say, it's a cigar that I really liked and smoking, like it's one I've gone back to through an entire box of these things because I really enjoy that savory flavor. And if you like a cigar or are looking to try something with that grit aspect and you haven't quite had that yet, the Bosphorus would be a cigar to find that in. And of course, what really matters here is what you guys think about these. So if you've had the Osgener Family's blend, please drop a comment down below and let everyone know what you think of it because we'll all learn better when we learn together. And of course, check Check this video out on CigarsDailyPlus.com. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Tim, signing off for Cigars Daily, and I will see you in the comments.